Bowman. Jacob Bowman came to Brownsville from Hagerstown, Maryland in 1786. He settled in Brownsville and opened up a uh, settler's fort. And he had a paper mill and a nail factory. As his wealth grew and his family grew, he started working on Nemecolin Castle. Nemecolin Castle, um, where the Bowmans lived, three generations of Bowmans lived there from 1786 all the way up until 1959. There was a high school, because Browns at one time, believe it or not, we used to have a lot more people living here than we do now, but we did have a school that was located across from the, where the castle is, and it was called Bashir School District. But the kids, at lunchtime, there were cafeterias, they would walk to school and then walk downtown for lunch. And, and they would walk down and go, and Fiddles was one of the areas that they would go to, so that was a hangout for the students, and that's where the movies Maria Lovers, part of it was filmed. Hi, I am Kelly Delarose and I am the sponsor for the Brownsville Area High School Students in Action Team. For the past six years, a group of students has been working on implementing a park in downtown Brownsville in what is known as the Snowden Square area. And what has happened over the past several months is that a construction company has come in and they have actually constructed the park which is estimated about a $300,000 project. What is really nice about this project is that the students have sparked an interest in other community members and other community organizations. And so everyone is on board in revitalizing our downtown area. It's very nice that across the street from the property where the park is, Trek Development is coming in and establishing a community housing complex right right next to where the park is. So those residents will be able to utilize the property and we're very excited for that. Hi, I'm Jacob Sepatola. I'm a member of the Students in Action team. In my opinion, I believe that Browns will have a pretty bright future um, after me and my fellow members graduate. I believe that there will be great members that will keep the ball rolling. With the projects that we have done so far, the morale has gone up in Brownsville and I believe in the future that it will keep rising. Hi, I'm Jennifer Acid. I'm the school nurse at Brownsville Area High School and I was born and raised in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. Our small town is seeing a lot of changes right now with the demolition of some very old buildings. Those of us that have lived here for a long time, it is a very sad sight. But we are all hopeful that this is a new beginning for Brownsville and that we will see an increase in industry and jobs in our area so that our youth will want to stay and live in the town that they were born in.